Fear kind of looking out for these ganks a bit more and maybe it's hurting him a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, looking at Aoi at the moment on the anti mage as well. Even with these uh, supports around the corner, he's having a tough time. This, if he can get the kill, would be pretty nice. Arc 2 burning across, it's not going to be enough. PPD there finding the first bug with the thunder strike. Do you, do you see what? Uh, is indeed still edging funny and he's getting those denies through as well. Bottom lane eyes again onto Illidan and always want to fly fear. Forcing back the Wyvern, they've got the glimpse back. Now out comes the Arctic Burn, can he get himself out of harm's way in time? It doesn't look to be it, Spear gets off the call. He will call and embrace himself here, Winter Wyvern. Now he should be able to finish this one off with the punches and it is going to be indeed a second kill for EG. Nicely done there. White Bear just controlling the anti-mage, allowing Aoi to get the final touch and to get that bonus gold. Standing there up there alone and farming and no one is really contesting him. He's sitting at 1450 gold. Oh, up there. Can he close the gap? He can indeed. Gets off the court. Funny, he has got a fire fly. Can he get himself out of kinetic field? And doesn't look like he can. As EG, with the rotation, they are able to find themselves some blood and they get themselves a third. Maui, is it, is it going to be the Vlads or are we going to see potentially Vanguard AM now with the, the new way of building into this in the late game? Oh, that's a good question actually. I, I assume we're just going to see the standard Battle Fury for starters yes. and then maybe we'll go into something else later on. And yeah, this is, lane, that's, uh, exactly what you're about. This is how you kill a Templar Assassin. A yeah. coil into the Iron Shell and Surged Up Axe. You just, up and and it is going to be a Vanguard actually on the end mage. Right? Oh, is it? Yeah, is it going? Yeah, Vanguard AM boys. There we go. And he has actually opted to go Max Mana Break. Wow. Coming to a pub near you. Very soon, a mid lane, the gank successful once more. The fact that he has got PPD behind him. And oh, Phonic's going to move in. We'll see if PPD's going to be able to stop this one. There we go. In fact, they're going to just jump straight onto PPD here. Phonic trying to bring him with the kinetic field. going to trap him up. Owie trying to mount fight against Goa Black with the, tree, the, uh, the, the trap there. The troll, now some mail coming forward with the orb, waning rift the coil, onto two mana void, blown up gold black, the stun. The trolling of them for the time being, and now start to back up with the static storm. It's nice, you're gonna catch him there, bit of miscontrol there from PPD. Not enough to contain the morphling. Now EG, maybe they're gonna be the ones at the back for icebergs, turning up to the fight as well. PPD gonna get bursted down. Let's see if Chief Spirit can find themselves anything else in some mail. Getting himself out with the orb and now he and some mail. Will get themselves out of there. Team Spirit finding themselves something. Oh, the fight's not over by the looks of it because Veer's turned up. Veer wants in on the action. He'll do wave forming himself away, but Samael's back in and bursts him down. But it's come into this one, but he himself's going to get himself out into the sidelines. As this is a very, very messy fight for Spirit. They're actually going to drop the Winter's Curse onto Samael. Have they actually got the lockdown to deal with this boy? He's phase shift, right, waning, rift onto two. Ticking down low, will he probably will? They'll find the puck kill at least. Can they find themselves anything more though, Team Spirit? Field coming out, holding Iceberg back. The Splinter Blast will burst through, not quite enough to bring down Fear. And then like that, Team Spirit find themselves too, but still the advantage here for EG. Edmage can't really fight, keep on fighting. So good play there by Illidan and the Static Storm. Um, I mean, the Kinetic Field was slightly off the mark there from PBD. Yeah. He's coming in, he's found Go Black, close the gap with the battle hunger now. The call looking to chop down the man. That's Chen, he's gonna feel the wrap of axe. That's gonna be one down Samel as well. Silence onto Funnick, orbit himself across the to the left of the fight. Iceberg does have a DD. Iceberg turns around, gives a slap to Aoi. Iceberg being glimpsed back now. The call as well. They control him, they'll take him down. Double kill. But Volva, now proper winter's curse. Can they really try and turn this? Aoi being beat down by his own team. Not going to be enough to kill him, he'll be fine. Funny, he's got a lasso. Can he get a jump on to someone? Some male just playing games with him, juking him out on the puck. Funny, uh, he's actually going to get taken down himself. Potentially, the Hanukkah comes through. It's not enough to keep the man alive. Illidan trying to punch some male down. Some male being searched. A glimpse onto Illidan, keeping this morphing away from the puck. So, again, it's just EG toying with the lineup of Team Spirit. With Team Spirit's lineup, and I also feel like Team Spirit's lineup has less synergy uh, it's just a bit of a it's kind of confusing what they're doing with their lineup actually they have both the morphing and the TA they are gonna oh, bear with the call cool to free the static storm as well they'll get the winter's curse up with the wall as well Goldblatt's gonna be the first to go down Illidan 
Trying to get himself out of this one as well. Funnick and Iceberg on the retreat. Dreamcore going to be dropped onto Always Wanna Fly. They will get the lasso onto Fear, dragging him up the high ground. He gets dragged back. Owie with the mountain avoid. Finishes off the second one. The Wyvern's gone. Fear did try for the TP out. The flame rate will be enough to finish him off. And Owie still looking for more. Trying to chase Illidan down. He's got the help of Samel jumping forward as well. The silence is in. Iceberg, can he do enough to hold them back? And it looks like he will. Iceberg. It's going to be able to create the space to, to just stop EG diving any further. EG, speak of the devil for it. Iron Shield up. Smoke's on them. He's going to look for a jump. If he can catch out that TA, it'll be a great way to start the fine. He will. Jumps in, gets the call out. There'll be a corn embrace there. Saving him for some of the damage, but there's a fair bit of magical going for it. And Iceberg's gone. Just like that, EG. Find the TA. To Wyvern will hold them off for the time being. Illidan coming around on the sidelines. Eyes on to PPD. Gets struck up, but again, EG just jumps straight in. Ow, he's there as well with the mana void. The dunk. They'll take down Illidan. Dream call dropped onto free. EG, Owie jumping forward. Can he they finish off any more from the side of Team Spirit? Go back, pulling low, and he'll go. They'll get themselves a third. And it's again a three for one trade for the side of EG. They keep finding the initiations and, and Team Spirit that just always on the back foot. Because if they are, it could get messy. I think EG actually kind of scared that they're smoked up themselves. So yeah, it looks like there's going to be just a free roll for Team Spirit. Uh, Funny actually getting to jump onto Aoi. There'll be a glimpse back. They've already brought Aoi back. Can they control the anti-mage though? And no, with the Dream Call onto three. The vacuum, the water for the static zone to follow through as well. One dunk here from Fear. He should be able to find himself more if he can close it onto Illidan. But Illidan turns around. Adapted Stripe pushing back the axe. But Aoi chasing down Illidan on the morphing. They'll take it. It's going to be a second one for the boys. Fear with a double kill as he dunks down the TA as well. Oh boy. EG once again, Aegis or not, they'll fight through it. And yeah, it's going to be yeah, the dag on, of course, next for uh, for Mr. Samel. He's already got that veil and the blink dagger done. Top lane, funny, and Iceberg. Can they take down Al? Jump in, look at the lasso. Do they have the damage to deal with him? One, give it a second, give it a third. They're going to need a fourth and a fifth, and it's not going to be there. Al, he blinks down, four star. The glimpse back, they will still get it though. And that is a big one for Spirit. They're just happy with the kill they get on the anti mage, and if they go for those fights. Oh, mid fear. Jumping in. Iceberg caught out. Dream Cold dropped as well. Can they save the boy? No. Fear smashes his head in there with the axe. It just puts a smile on your face. You yeah, know? was it you that back in. Uh, it, it was. It yeah, was me. You know, yeah, 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 back in yeah, yeah, VSL Frankfurt. Yeah, I bought my stuff. tickets and I was watching the big screen and you getting yourself. What was it? Double kill? No, yeah. what? Triple. Double, double. It was just a double. Oh. Yeah, but it was three people. It was nice. To be fair. I did appreciate that play, my cat. Very good. Bowie. We I always want to fly. There's going to be the winter skulls onto Samael. Fizz going to start to chop. It doesn't matter now. Howie jumps in. Looking to finish with the wire, but the big ball comes through from Samael and he's gone. Always want to fly out of the fight. Still 10 seconds before the TA. Iceberg's back into it. The BKBs on the TA and the Bat Brother, but I think they're still quite far and. This could be dangerous. We see EG lurking here. Ah, yeah, if they can get out. Could be ugly. Got a lot of control. Oh, with that call. Cool. Has he saved Dowie? No. Oh, he still goes down. The vacuum wall coming through. Oh, my goodness. They just all melt. Iceberg trying to make his way back to base. But EG, hot on the case. Hot on the tails of this TA. And he's gone as well. Triple kill for Sumail. Yeah, and I feel like this is close oh, to... Man. I mean, this is close to... See, Team Spirit's lineup makes it a bit easier than in the previous game. Uh, there are no saves, you know. In the Gonna see another initiation here and a kill on the chin. Just zap. But yeah, fear. It's just easier for him this game, and we see he's making it work. We've seen so many calls on, you know, two, three heroes, and just the combos from EG are. They're playing this game very well. Very, very well indeed. And we'll see if they get the arm and shot of breaking the base. Modification coming out for Spirit with 15 seconds. And over the defense and Mayo. Maybe I'm going to be going for a quick burst. One, two, three, four. One more right click would have been needed, but he gets that soda, but Samael's gone. Oh, Samael maybe getting a little greedy there. And that is quite a heavy loss here for the side of EG. They'll have to back off and hold on until Samael's back, really. I mean, they could try and fight with Fort. They may just give it a shot. They do have the ultimate. So eyes onto Iceberg. In they come. Iceberg pops the BKB. The wall onto always want to fly. Iceberg going for the right clicks onto Aoi. See if he can pick some people off. He's going to close his attention towards PPD. Takes down the disruptor. Now Bulba surging away. It'll be fine. 
But again, I mean, EG try and fight with four. It doesn't end up working out. They drop the, the wall and spirit. They're going to be happy with that. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it starts out with Sumail. He gets a little bit ahead of himself. Ahead of himself. He gets lassoed by the Batrider who has actually just finished up his. And yeah, we're going to see one more kill on the BKB. So he pops the BKB right before the initiation. And they end up getting one more kill onto the Disruptor. I think that AY could have actually... Look at this fear, he's jumped in onto two, that'll be the corner press, always want to fly Bulba as well here, coming in with the vacuum, the Wyvern's going to be gone, fear, still spinning, BKB's been popped by Funny and Iceberg as well as he's ready to try and move back in, Bulba surges himself away, fear, ticking down low, they will get it there, blown him up with the adapted strike, Iceberg, eyes onto BPD, static storm onto two, but they'll be able to walk out, they'll take down PPD, they all oh, look at the TL, they'll finally burst him, so it's a two for two at the moment, Illidan, who's he got the eyes on Owie, low on mana, Go Black and Illidan are going to look to try and chase him down. I don't think they've got the damage to deal with him. They're trying to nuke him down, but it's the nuke from Samael that's too much. With the dag on, finds himself for himself a double kill. Illidan at the moment just toying with him. At the same time, Aoi and Bulba chase up to the north to finish off Funny, and they're coming in for the finish. Samael playing around with Illidan, and Aoi's there to join in the fun. A little bit of stun onto Aoi, but Samael has got a dag on. And he's going to look to use it. Hasn't got the mana. The right clicks is enough with the silence. And he'll get another kill on the anti maze there, Aoi. On the plus, he did actually manage to get himself to the secret <laughs> he shop. Finished the obviously a bit delayed. And also the game, the way that PG have played this game as a team. Not so much on AUI. But yeah. It... Oh. Hello. It's a male. I mean, again, he goes for these flashy kills, but they're doing the punch here. Fizz come in with the help of Aoi, trying to turn this one around. Iceberg melds up. Detection is going to be there, and he gets sent back very nicely. So Iceberg will be fine. Illidan, pull with the strike. Eyes onto PPD. E Blade into the strike. Nuking him low. He's got the Lincolns as well, so PPD isn't going to be able to send him back. A PPD will be PP dead. Team Spirit getting them a second. Can they get themselves anything more here? Illidan. Moving forward at the same time, EG, they're elsewhere. Oh, he's Even killing out of here like the Winter Wyvern at this point is quite big for EG. See so who gets the jump there. Touching out Illidan, I think on the control of the side, going through a funny post to be given. He grabs Samael here. Iceberg's there with the damage, and he'll take Samael out. Oh no, he doesn't actually get the face shift on the time. Samael's still alive here for the time being. The wall's being dropped here to the north, Bulba. Surging himself away. They'll jump down onto Illidan. They'll find themselves the morph and killing now, Howie. They're going to come back in. Silence coming out to the Iceberg, still, still with his BKB, looking for the kill on PPD, gets the crit, gets the takedown, Fear coming back in with Aoi as well, and the right click, the DPS is too much, Iceberg's gone, he has got the Aegis, he's going to be there for round two, he needs the backup of his team, but his team, they're having to bail, they're having to leave him behind, and Iceberg's gone, Funnick got chased down as well by Samel on his puck. Yeah, and EGR just... ...come a little bit too late, CG try and uh, do, make something happen on the top lane. We'll see if they're able to fully commit and get themselves those ranks that they've been on for, for quite a while as we've seen EG coming back and forth on these lanes. Now he just jumps straight in. Hunter always going to find no messing in the mana void as well to seal the deal. Takes the kill. Iceberg controlled up by the call, the Dagon, and now the Dream Coil. On to two. He's already two there without any buyback available. Now he's trying to chase Funnick away. He's got the fly up by Hill. Will be fine. Bulba surging up back in. On to three. Double kill for Howie. Jumps in. Fear gets the dunk off. Only Illidan surviving. None of the rest of Spirit with buybacks available. And this very well could be it. EG. We're going to take this series to a game three. And uh, one racks. Two sets of racks, a GG well played is called. EG had stepped it up massively here in game two. You and us kind of performance at the, at the level that we'd expect from some of the players from the town that we know that they've got on EG. And 40 to 13, 40 minutes in. Game two goes to the boys in blue. And uh, we'll be going to a game three for this final series of the day. Yeah, what a great game by EG. EG Baluba stepping it up on his dark seer. Yeah.